Hello, this is Melvin again. And this time we're going to talk about creating calculations. Now that you have a solid understanding of how to create a basic PowerView dashboard, in this demonstration, I would introduce you to Data Analysis Expressions Language, or short for DAX. And I'll explain how to create custom calculations with PowerView. As always, we begin in the Power View environment. Now, first, as you can see, I have a fact column here, and I have some measures already. Well, this is one example I have a measure called sales, and I'll add it to them. Now, as you can see, my sales. Uh, if I were to create a custom calculations, I would simply just go to my power pivot location and I will select calculated fields and I will select new calculated fields and when I get the calculated field dialog box I give the calculated field a location to keep the measure and let's say in this example we're just going to put it in the fact location next I have to give the calculation calculated field a name. I'll give it percentage of sales because that's what I want to see. I want to see what percentage of sales are made up with each individual item in this example. And I'll just give it for description Let's give it a call it a test. Now this is where the magic starts in the formula of a calculated field. In my example, since I want to keep track of the percentage of sales, well I'll first I need to know the proper DAX expression. Now I happen to know this here because I've been studying DAX, but this is very similar to the expression language that's used in Excel. I'll say some and I want to talk about the total sales percentage so I'll just select total sales and as you can see it uses a little bit of IntelliSense those who are familiar with Visual Studio and now I want the sum of the fact total sales and I want to divide that by this feature called calculate which is essentially saying outside this environment calculate this which would be once again the sum and I want to talk about the fact table fact column total sales and I have to factor in how do I want the percentage to be divided or sorry not divided but measured against so I'll just select in this case it's often common, and this is very similar to uh, MDX, if those, are, those who know uh, Cube Development and SQL Analysis Service, you would, also, you would typically select a dimension. Well, in this case, since we want this percentage of cell to be calculated against any of these dimensions, we'll just specify that it's all selected, which it basically means I want this percentage of sale, sorry, this total sales to be calculated against any selected dimension. And now I check my formula and it checks out fine. And since we're talking about a percentage here, I want to specify the percentage as a percentage. And I'm okay with two decimal places. And once I select OK, it creates the calculated field and you'll notice this prompt that says the data model has changed. What that essentially is indicating is that the power pivot data source has actually added that to its list and I'll show you that later. If I select OK to confirm and now when I go to fact diner daily I can see my percentage of sales has been created. So if I select that it adds that to 
my uh, dashboard here and I can select any dimension here let's say I'll select category here and as you can see it breaks down all my categories in the percentage of sales and if I add it even a sub level let's say location it even gets even more granular with the percentage now as I mentioned before you notice that when I created this calculation it specified that it was created at with, within the data model so if I go back into my power pivot and select manage I'll go into my data model and if I go under fact daily diner I can see percentage of sales which has been calculated here sorry out of here now that sort of demonstrates essentially how you create a calculation inside power view